Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, we'll get started shortly. <music> Welcome, everyone. Welcome guys, we'll get started shortly. Welcome guys, welcome everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen. As you guys know, on um, on Thursdays, we go over uh, stocks, options, and ETFs. Stocks, options, and ETFs. And we've got a lot of information to go over this evening. Uh, hey Bill, hey Juan, hey Betty, Betty. Welcome guys, welcome. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. You guys should see my screen here. All right, you should see my screen, Monster Market Tracker. All right, so boy, I tell you, um, it's 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 amazing when these markets change quickly. All right, so that's what happened with the equity markets. All right, so uh, the last I would say the last what five trading days, uh, we've seen the the equity markets um, move higher. All right, hey Solomon, welcome. All right, so um, we've got great price action here, guys, on the Dow, right? So we have, what, five up days on the Dow right here, all right? Really good price action, getting near this resistance up in this area here. We'll probably get a buy signal uh, soon here, all right? So really good price action on the Dow, all right, on the Dow. Uh, hey, Gerald, welcome. Hey, welcome, hey, Gerald. Hey. Hello. Um, same with uh, the S&P. All right. So we don't have a buy signal yet, but you guys need to start looking at stocks. 
All right. Um, here is the S and P. Um, moving higher. All right. So we had another good day in stocks. All right. And uh, here is the Nasdaq. Nasdaq right here. All right. Moving higher. Uh, Nasdaq always seemed to lag a bit, but eventually will catch up. All right. With the others. Uh, indexes and uh and then the russell really nice price action guys on the russell look at that right there all right so really good price action uh, right here in the market here's the russell right here here is resistance pretty good resistance right here all right, so pretty good resistance right here, moving up nicely, okay? So uh, very encouraging um, for the equity markets, all right? The VIX is coming down. Look at this. All right, look at this. All right, hey, Mary, welcome, Mary, welcome. Uh, the VIX, guys, is finally below 20. That's very bullish for the markets, all right, for the equity markets stock market all right so it's under 20 so it's at 18 right so 1883 um, we'll we'll take that right really good for the equity markets um we just needed to hold below here right below 20 and hopefully continue to move lower all right we would like it to continue to move lower and as you guys know the lower the VIX volatility index gets better for stocks, all right? So it's coming lower, and you guys see the correlation, right? Right? These indexes are going higher as the VIX um, uh, goes lower, all right? Especially below 20. So we need it to stay below 20, all right? Preferably if we can get it in the low teens, right? So 13, 14 um, uh, is ideal, all right? But that's good. That's good for now. Um, I believe it was at 20 yesterday and before that 21. So it's moving lower. So very good. We're starting to see, I want you guys to pay attention here. All right. We're starting to see buying coming in on, um, all right here, hold on, uh, on the sectors. So right here, Right here, guys, look at this, right? Last week, this was all red, all right? Now we got home construction right here. That's up, right here. Home builders, right? Consumer services right here. Financials, all right? Telecom, biotech, keep an eye on biotech. That's part of healthcare. So keep an eye on biotech, energy, all right, industrials, all right, real estate right here, and then transportation. So we've got several, several sectors, right? That's that's moving higher, all right? So um, we pay attention to those. And obviously, we have energy here, and then um, precious metals, gold, silver, uh, right over here. All right, so good, good price action. This here, very encouraging on the VIX. All right, Dow here looks really, really nice. All right, um, Russell, all right, and then the NASDAQ here. As I said, lagging a bit, but it should catch up. All right, all right. So big news on Bitcoin, all right? So we sent out a message earlier today. We got a buy signal. I know this is the equity class, but... Uh, we want to talk about this because we got a buy signal today on Bitcoin. All right. All right. So here is Bitcoin, guys. Finally got a buy signal on Bitcoin. The last buy signal we got was in August. August of last year, we got a buy signal on Bitcoin. All right. So right here was the previous buy signal, didn't last long, <laughs> right? Buy signal on Bitcoin here, failed, broke support right here, and we got a sell signal to get out of Bitcoin. This was August, 
right? August, right? And uh, it didn't even get into September. So August, just that month of August got in and got out, okay? So um, this was the last buy signal. Hey, Tracy, welcome. Hey, Joe, welcome. All Thank right. You. So this was the last buy signal, guys, since August. So we have a new buy signal today that came in today right on that break of resistance right here. Here is the buy signal. Let me open it up. Hold on. Let's open it up so you guys can see here. So the buy signal on Bitcoin, let's open it up here came in at this, right here, this resistance line right there, all right? Uh, so that price is 18,368, 18, all right? Uh, now, I don't know if I trust this buy signal yet. We'll see, all right? We'll see. But buy signal came in right here on this break of this resistance here good support down in here all right good support good consolidation okay um right in here so green candle here green candle here and a big green candle we we like to see these big candles when they come in right so that means buyers are finally pushing in broke resistance so we've got a buy signal we'll see we'll see what we we'll, what needs to happen is that we need to hold above this resistance line here all right so we need to see if bitcoin can hold perhaps for you know a week or so and then we'll see if it's a if it's a real move right if it's a real move all right so but that's encouraging that is encouraging um so that that goal of ten thousand, um we can't look at that anymore unless things change all right unless things change. Uh, the only concern, and that's pretty good support down in here. That's pretty good support, all right? The only concern is this with Bitcoin. So if you guys are gonna trade Bitcoin, uh, just be careful. But you know, you might wanna look at your other crypto. So, you know, Bitcoin, we use Bitcoin as a barometer. So as Bitcoin moves higher, right? So will the other crypto or other coins out there so this is the concern here the last time it broke resistance right here right here it failed right here so broke resistance right here never made any new highs right broke support right had to get out same here broke resistance right here now we didn't have any we didn't have a big buyers to come in no big candles like we did here or here all right, and kind of failed, never really held above resistance, right? Never really held, even here, spiked up, never really held. So we need, we need, we need the buyers to hold Bitcoin up, just hold it. We need more days, it's on a daily time frame. So we need more days to build and hold, hold above this resistance right here. That's the key. That's the key. If it fails, break support, gets a sell signal, we'll let you guys know. All right? So um, it is a buy signal. We have to take those buy signals seriously, right? We do. We have to take them seriously. We never know, right? So we have to take them seriously on, on, um, unless, um, uh, you know, until sellers come in. All right? So, um Still, it's still a concern. Bitcoin is still a concern, but we do have a buy signal. Buyers are coming in into Bitcoin. All right. And if the equity markets continue to move higher, right? So Bitcoin will follow um, the equity markets, loves to follow um, the S&P closely. So if the equity markets move higher, um, Bitcoin will certainly move higher also. All right. Uh, any questions on Bitcoin? Any questions on Bitcoin? Hey, Annie, welcome. 
All right. I will open up the floor shortly, okay? All right. Uh, let's see here. I want to take a quick look at the sectors, okay? And in particular, biotech, all right? Biotech was the leading sector today, all right? So it broke resistance right here, perfect buy signal right here. All right, perfect buy signal right here. All right, on a break of this resistance. Okay, so keep an eye. We, we, we looked at this last night, or last, our class last night, and uh, we went through a lot of the healthcare. We're gonna go through those um, also. Hey, Betty, welcome. All right, healthcare stocks. All right, and in particular, biotech. All right, so sector is healthcare, Right, industry is biotech. All right, and they're they're moving biotech. Right, moved up almost four percent for the day, which is a big move. All right, so biotech, and we'll go over those energy. Right, no buy signal yet. Telecom. Right, no buy signal yet, but good price action. All right, silver. We've talked about silver. That's been in the markup phase for a while. All right, real estate. Looking to test there. All right, here is uh, consumer services. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, communication services buy signal here on a break of this resistance right here. All right, all right, so gold. We know about gold. Look at gold, all right, really moving. Uh, technology, we look at technology also. No buy signal yet, but price action is moving. All right, financials looking to break resistance right here. So all these sectors are shaping up nicely, all right? They're shaping up really, really nice, all right? US 30, did anyone, um, Bill, 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 Bill. Um, Bill, did you take this trade here, US 30? Did you look no, at I'm it? I'm traveling this week for work, so okay. I'm away from my trade computer. I miss that entirely. That's a good trade, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I um, see it. Yeah, great trade. Um, as these markets move higher, okay, we'll see great opportunity um, in Monster US 30. We want to put this system um, to good use. Um, and, and in addition, um, the NAS, NAS 100, it's got a new buy signal here. Now, this, this system here is a lot more volatile than the US 30, um, but we've got it. And then the SP, SP 500, it's going to run much like um, US 30, okay? So, um, Bill, I would just, um, you know, you've missed this one here, all right? You've missed this one, but just keep an eye on it. Might get a, might get a pullback to get out like here and then get another another trade. But we, we are all over this. We'll be all over it, all right? Um, let's see. I'm here. watching it on the 60, right? On the 60, yes, yes. This is a 60, here. yes, yes. Yes. Um, we, yeah. So we, the daily, so we have the daily, right? We're going to track it on the daily, but trade it on the 60 minute. All right. Now we don't need a buy signal. We don't need a buy signal on, um, on the daily to start trading it, but we do need a green candle, which I, well, at a minimum, we need a, we need a green candle so that we know buyers are coming in. All right. Um, uh, and then look for uh, buy signals on the 60 minute, okay? Um, when we get a buy signal, even when we get a buy signal on, um, on the daily, that's just further confirmation. But don't wait on the buy signal on the daily, all right? As long yeah. as we have a green candle, um, start looking to, to take trades on the 60 minute, all right? Okay. All right, really good trade going here. This is a really good trade, all right? Um, let's see here. Let's see here, okay. All right. Um, okay, Stock Boss, those of you who are trading Stock Boss, this is, this is important, all right? And I know it's been, it's been a while since, you know, we had to really pull out um, stock boss, right? With the way the equity market's been behaving. Um, but now is the time. All right. Now is the time. 
Um, you know, some of you guys called, contacted me today uh, to make sure your uh, systems, uh, your, like your heat seeker, uh, your bull master stock boss is running properly. That's what we want to do. All right. That's what we want to do because um, things are setting up right now. Hey, Zaire, welcome. All right. So what we want to do is make sure make sure that your 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 scans when you get your scans that um check uh where is it yeah check at the bottom here to make sure so i know mary did that and she caught she caught caught it um bill you need to do that solomon you need to do that you guys need to do that all right just make sure because your your heat seeker is supposed to run every day Every day, all right? At the end of the day, 4.30 Eastern time right here. 4.30 Eastern time, all right? So make sure, make sure that you guys check the date. So right here, right here, January 12th at 4.30. If you do not see that time on, on your heat seeker, all right, you got you got guys got to get in touch with me. Let me know. All right, so that we can, um, you know, take care of it. All right, it should be it should run fine. The heat seeker runs automatically. You don't have to do anything, but you have to make sure that your it's up. If you've turned it off for whatever reason, all right, we want to get it going. All right, because otherwise you will not get um, your stocks. They will not come through. Okay, so make sure, make sure um, it's running properly. All right. Um, so I want to I want to go through what's setting up. We look at stock boss. All right, um, bull master, and we'll look for opportunities to trade stocks. All right, and this is the time. We're not far into, 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 um, we don't have any buy signals yet, right? I don't believe, I don't think we have to wait for buy signals. Uh, if we put it on a 240, we'll have buy signals, but we're going to keep it on the daily, all right? But we've got good price action. Market's definitely moving higher. And we're seeing that price action here in Heat Seeker, okay? So let's go through. There are two. And you guys can write these symbols down, okay? So there are two sectors that, um, that we really like, all right? Two sectors that we really like, all right? Healthcare and technology, all right? Healthcare and technology. So you guys want to start building your watch list, all right? And for those of you, who um, trading stock boss or even bull master, you can start getting into trades. All right, you can start getting into trades as long as we have a buy signal. All right, all right. And this is what we wanna do every time we get a rotation here. All right, okay. Now I wanna show you guys one thing before we start on that. I wanna show you guys um, one thing here. So this is the Dow on the monthly time frame. So I want to show you guys what, what could happen. All right? Not that it will happen, but what could happen. It's on the monthly time frame. And we are, and I'm surprised by this, but it is what it is. All right? Here is, um, here is the all-time high on the Dow, and then here we are right now. 34,000 right here is where we close today, right here. The all-time high, I believe, is about 30, 37,000 or so. So we're 3,000 points from the all-time high, from the all-time high, right? Amazing, 
All right. So we could, if we get close to at all time high, I don't count this as really resistance. This is just a high right here. We get closer, right? We get some buy-in to come in, right? Traders might really push. We get close to that high, we might see traders really break through that high and move higher, all right? And obviously that will help Bitcoin, but that will show you guys, will as, as we go through these stocks here, if that happens, if that happens, we'll get a lift for these stocks, all right? So just, just know that we are watching this, right? We are watching this, this big macro move right here, all right? And the selling happened already. Selling happened, right? Selling happened, selling happened. All right, so they can take this market. This, they've done that selling. Selling's been done. All right, green candles. All right, so this market, this market could move. It could really, really move, okay? So, all right, so we've got to be ready. All right. Okay, so let's go to Stock Boss. All right, let's go through. We're going to look at healthcare, healthcare sector, healthcare sector, and in particular, biotech. We have a lot of biotech here. All right, so we're going to go through this. And what we're looking for, we're looking for really good markdown phases, really good markdown phases, clean markdown phases, nice accumulation. Doesn't have to be clean, but decent accumulation. Right, break of resistance by signal. All right, okay. So start putting your watch list together. That's no good. All right. Now, if you guys want to put this one on the radar, really good markdown phase. It's setting up, right? A little bit more buying. We don't have a buy signal yet. All right, but you can wait on this one here. All right, R-O-I-V, R-O-I-V, R-O-I-V. And if you guys have any questions, I'm sorry, not, no, hold on, the one before it. D-C, D-H-C, D-H-C, okay? All right, this one is gone. All right, that's a biotech, look at that. Nothing there. That one is gone. Nothing there. All right. You guys might want to put this one on the radar here. No buy signals yet. All right. No buy, buy signals yet, but just put it on the radar. All right. That is RLMD. RLMD. All right. No buy signals yet. This one is gone. Healthcare biotech. I would put this one on the radar here. SLGC. SLGC. Nice markdown phase. Look at this. Nice markdown phase. Right? It fell from $14. It's at $325. All right. And guys, if this if this market makes a move, right? I want to hear that you guys are in these stocks. Worst case scenario, you can get out. Worst case scenario, right? Break support down here. You'll get a sell signal to get out. But look at your upside, okay? If it moves. All right? So which one was that? Uh, SG, uh, SLGC. All right, next one. All right, this one is gone. Uh, too choppy. This one is gone. All right, this one looks pretty good here. All right, decent markdown phase, accumulation, buy signal right here, 52, 52 cents, right? Cheap stock right here. Here is resistance right here, buy signal right here. And that is SPPI, SPPI. All right, here is one, AV, 
A H A V A H. Really good markdown phase. All right. Really good markdown phase. All right. And that came from what seven dollars. It's at a dollar, dollar right here. Really good markdown phase. Hey Taj, welcome. Really good markdown phase, guys. Nice accumulation. Buyers are coming in. All right. And these biotech stocks will move too. They will move. Buy signal right here. You guys have to trust these buy signals. Even when, <laughs> even when they don't work out, you still have to trust them. You, you still have to trust them. Right? This is the first buy signal here in over a year. All right. So markets moving higher. Right. We looked at the markets. We looked at the Dow. Right. Everything's setting up. You can trust this buy signal, even if it fails. Trust your system. All right. Trust your system. All right. Uh, so that was A V A H. The next one, L U N G. All right. Choppy here in the markdown phase. You've got some consolidation up in this area here, but clean buy signal here. So this in trade, I'll be careful if it gets in this area here, very, very choppy. All right, that might stop your trade. All right, but that's not bad. Um, what is that? So L L U N G. All right, let's keep going. This one here is gone. All right, buy signal was here. It's all the way up here. The buy signal came in um, at five five um, five sixty. It's at eight seventy seven. That's that's gone. If this market moves within a month or so, all these stocks will, if, it, if, if the market continues to move higher, these buy signals will get away from us. That's why we have to go through this now, early. All right, early. All right, this one is gone. Look here. Too late on that one. All right. This one is not bad. Choppy in here. All right. Choppy in here, but good. It came from $15. Here it is now at uh, $3.51. And the symbol here is MDXG. MDXG. All right. Not bad. It's gotten past. So it's gotten past right here. It's breaking, breaking this resistance right here. This is where it failed before. All right. Um, this might be a concern right here. All right. But after that, we should be fine. All right. So a bit choppy in here. All right. But all right. So MDXG. All right. Next one. That's gone. All right, here's a decent one here. This symbol is, um, uh, what is that? Uh, VSTM, VSTM, all right. You got some consolidation in here. Let's see, let me show you guys how you would trade this. All right, buy signal here, clean buy signal. Love the buy signal here. Um, love the... Um, the consolidation, really good resistance. Here's the resistance right here. All right. Um, buyers are coming in. It's breaking resistance. This area here is a concern. This is definitely a concern here. A lot of consolidation in here. All right. So a lot of indecision with traders. Right here. All right, so the price, so good price too, 54 cents, all right? But this is a concern, uh, right at the dollar, between a dollar and a dollar 50. So all this area here is a concern, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? There are better ones out there, um, but if you're going to trade this one, just know that there's a lot of, see right here, here is resistance. Here is support. If we bring that over, all right, so you got really good resistance here. 
And then here going up, really good resistance here. So that might, right, that might interfere with your trade. All right. So um, don't, don't like this one as much. Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep going. So I want to give you guys some opportunities, some trades to look at, right? Some trades to take, especially um, those of you who trade in stock boss. And then we'll take a look at bull master. Okay. All right. And we want to get in early, 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 early. All right. Uh, so that's V. All right. This one here. Let's see here. Let me bring this. So this is healthcare now. Healthcare, healthcare, and biotech is the industry. Biotech. <clears throat> All right. We got some more. All right. This is not a bad. This is a good one, as a matter of fact. Okay. So this is um, OCUL, OCUL, all right? Good markdown phase, right? Had a buy signal here, sold here, markdown phase, nice accumulation, nice big candle, buyers are coming in for sure. Buy signal right here, buy signal came in at 345, 384. 87, still good, still good. All right, nice price action. You, you have um, a little bit of resistance up in this area here. So a lot of room, a lot of room. If, market, if the market holds, the sector holds, a lot of room for this to move. Good buying, good buying coming in. Zaire, um, you're on here. Um, you could look for um, calls too on these too, all right? especially when we look at um, uh, bull master, right? Large caps, okay? So um, market's getting bullish. Let's see here. So that's O-C-U-L, all right? Let's keep going. Um, V-U-Z-I, V-U-Z-I, nice markdown phase, not perfect, nice markdown phase, Buyers are coming in. We just need a buy, a buy signal. All right. All right. So um, wait for a buy signal on that one. All right. Here is another one here. All right. AMRN. AMRN. All right. Markdown phase. You guys should see the pattern here, what we're looking for. You guys should see, we're not buying up here. We, we're waiting for these stocks to go through their markdown phase, accumulate, right? That accumulation phase, break resistance, buy signal here. This one is gone. All right. This was nice. $1.38. It's at $1.95 right now. All right. All right. All right. S E L B. S-E-L-B, really got nice markdown phase over here. Look at this markdown phase, right? Previous markdown phase, nice buy signals. Buyers came in, right? Nice buy signal, sold here. Really good, nice markdown phase. I love this right here. Just really good, clean trading. Broke resistance right here. Green candles, buyers are coming in. Nice flow, nice flow. Buy signal. All right, a dollar fifty-five. All right, all right. That's S E L B. S E L B. All right, and we've got a few more. A D P T. A D P T. Nice markdown phase. Nice markdown phase. Choppy, right? Choppy in here, but that's fine. Here is resistance right here, right, right here, all right, right in here. Failed here before, failed here. This might be the one. Hopefully, this might be the one that really makes it higher, all right? 966 is the price. Fell from about $25, $30, all right? But really good. If it clears that area, if you guys want to, you might want to wait on this one a bit. Just make sure it kind of, because here is where it failed before. Here is where it failed. So it can build a little, you know, build some buyers, 
above resistance um, should should work out. Okay. That's ADPT. ADPT. Uh, the next one here, um, WGS. Nothing. Nothing here yet. All right. Good markdown phase. One you can keep on your radar, but no no buys yet. All right. The next the next sector in um, for stock boss traders is technology. So the first place we want to go is healthcare, biotech, and now technology. All right. So let's see what we've got in technology. Nothing here yet. <clears throat> All right, technology, right? So this is E-O-S-E, E-O-S-E, -E. all right? Descent markdown phase, nice. I really like this buy signal here. Nice early buy signal on the break of this resistance here at $1.65. This is a concern, right? Got some consolidation in here, all right? But if you can get past perhaps 235, 234, you might be fine until about 4, 453. Okay, so a bit choppy, bit choppy in here. All right, but entry, perfect entry. Perfect, perfect, perfect entry. Entry is here. Look at this. And this is your protection. This is your protection. The entry is here. All right, and now. Your previous resistance, so here is here is resistance here. So it, it took a buy on this resistance here. So your protection is right about right about here. So if it fails, if it fails, right, we'll get a sell signal right about here, right? So 165, let's say entry. Um, let's say one 130 or so, one this is 135, so about 130. Worst case, 122 is your protection, right, to get out, all right, worst case. All right, and that's technology, right? Okay, E, E, O, S, E. All right, let's keep going. This is the type of work we have to do, guys. This is it. We have to go through your, go through your heat seeker. Taj, you too, bud. Go through your heat seeker, all right? Find these opportunities. And I know... We haven't had an opportunity like this in a few months, so we might be rusty. <laughs> okay, so let's let's uh, get things going. All right, F O S F O S L technology again. Right, buy signal right here. Right, nice break of resistance right here. Buy signal right here. Buyers are coming in. All right, a little bit of a concern right here. Some consolidation. Right. Over here, that just, you know, that's gonna come through over on this side here. That's the way we wanna look at it, but nice trade, all right? Um, buy signal here, same thing here. And this, these, a lot of these set up, um, setting up very similar, right? A bit of consolidation in here, up in here, but buy signal here, uh, close today at a dollar five. That symbol is. C I R C I F R C I F R. Okay, technology. These are technology. Nice one here. Nice one here. Good markdown phase. Buy signal right here. It's holding. If we if this market just lifts, if the if Nasdaq, right, the Nasdaq picks up and it's lagging here a bit, but if it picks up, these stocks are gonna jump. All right. All right, this one has too far. It's gone too far. The buy signal, nice markdown phase here. Buy signal came in at 566. It's at 737. Uh, too late on that one. Oh, nice one here. So this one is our, I think we traded this the last time. I think Charity and Stella traded this the last time. R-I-O-T, Riot. Bill, did you trade this run also, Riot? Who no, I didn't get in on that one. Okay, I think we had um, um, charity. Um, our, Mr. David. Yes. Yeah, I'm in this right now. Oh, you're in this right now? Yeah. Okay. okay, good, good. And you got in at the buy signal? Yeah, five, 5.5, 5, I think. 
Okay, very good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So good trade here. Um, a bit of consolidation in here. It's getting in that box already. So it's already in that box. So that's really good. All right. So um, Solomon, just hold on to it, buddy. Hold on to it. Okay. All right. Just hold on tight. Um, so we're getting right in that box. All right. You might, it might stall a bit in here for you, but that's fine. Just hold on to it. Right. So here it, it might, you know, stall in this area, but it's right there. Here it is approaching. All right. So it might stall. It might get a bit of consolidation, but if it can get past $8, right, you could see some real movement. So good job. All right. Let's go ahead. So that's Riot. R-I-O-T. All right. Uh, K-O-P-N. All right. Just need a buy signal. Um, if it can, this is a good setup here. All right. K-O-P-N. This is a good setup. Doesn't have a buy signal yet. So wait for the buy signals. Do not get in before the buy signal. Okay. So nice markdown phase. Right. Nice markdown phase. All right. Nice markdown phase fell from about seven dollars. It's trading at a dollar seventy three right now. All right, here is pretty good support. It's got really good support. Good resistance right here. Right, boom, boom. Support resistance right here. It breaks resistance right in here on two dollars. You'll get a buy signal. All right. Um, after here. Right, we're fine until up in this area here. So if buyers really get in, they could push this much, much higher. All right. Good looking. That's this is a good looking stock right here. All right. All right. And that one is K-O-P-N. All right. K-O-P-N. And I want to go, I want to get to Bull Master. Bull, see what what we have in bull masses. So I'm going to go through the rest of these here in stock boss quickly. Nothing here. All right. This is setting up greatly though. Keep an eye on this one. Lots of opportunity. Um, S, uh, TSP, TSP, TSP. Good markdown phase. We just need a bit more consolidation buy signal. This one here, no buy signal here to choppy in here. All right. But that's also setting up nothing here yet. All right. Nothing here yet. We need more buyers to come in. This one right here, this is a good one. All right, A-N-G-I, A-N-G-I. You guys remember a week, two weeks ago, we had nothing here, all right? And all of a sudden, stocks are coming in. And if they're coming in, that means the, the institutions, hedge funds are buying them, all right? All right, so this is, it, it, it's happening, it's happening. All right. So A N A N G I buy signal right here. Nice accumulation phase. Buy signal right here. Right. Nice big candle moving higher. This is a concern right here, but I would still take this trade. All right. Remember, you still have protection. If it goes against you, right, we're gonna get out quickly. All right. Um, nice trade right here. Definitely put this on your radar. All right, fell from fourteen dollars. It's at two thirty-five. This one is C Y X T C Y X T. All we need is a buy signal to come in. Nice, clean markdown phase is what we what we have here, and that's what we want. Buy signal should come in right around in this area here, about two fifty. Okay, so keep this one, write this one down. But we need a buy signal first. We need more buyers to come in to confirm the move, all right? Keep this one on your radar. Nice accumulation, long accumulation, all right? When, if this one pops and it's at 82 cents, 82 cents, guys, fell from $16, all right? So this one is W-U-L-F. You can't get in now. We need more buyers to come in, right? More buyers to come in, right? And we need a buy signal. All right. All right. Bullmaster. So let's go through Bullmaster. 
All right, so now these stocks are $10 and higher, large caps, more large cap stocks. Okay, so options, these are good to trade options with, all right? Good to trade calls on, okay? So healthcare, we're gonna go through healthcare. All right, this is gone already, nothing there. All right, this is not a bad one here, all right? Nice markdown phase, nice break of resistance right here. Very, very similar to the previous buy signal. Buy signal was right here. Here's the next buy signal here, almost this identical place. All right, it's at $70. Some of these will be expensive, but we can trade options on these. All right, we can trade options on these. All right, so nice buy signal here, nice price action, nice long candle. When we see these long, big long candles, that's the institutions, buyers are jumping in, all right? All right, that symbol was S-T-A-A, S-T-A-A, -A. all right? Uh, A-L-T, that's gone already, that's too late. It's all healthcare, that's no good, all right? This is not a bad one here, buy signal was here held long consolidation and now it's breaking off again nice markdown phase all right s s g r y all healthcare this one is gone this one is gone this one is gone you're going to find in um um bull master a lot of these um when they move um Oh, oh, the institutions really like more expensive stocks, right? Anything that's $10 and um, below $10, they kind of frowned upon those, okay? But we, you know, it's a lot more expensive to do those, all right? But they, they will, you will see where they jump into those really, really quickly, all right? Um, stock, more expensive stocks, but we don't have, we could trade the options also okay all right so that's gone all right that's gone that's gone all right that one is gone look at that buy signal here and that's biotech this is all biotech right here that's gone buy signal was here all the way up here that's gone we'll see what we've got that's gone big gap up so they're buying that sector man that's gone all right, that one here gapped up, nice markdown phase. Uh, that's too late. All right, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. They're really moving these stocks. Oh. All right, nothing here. All right, this is not a bad one here, all right? Nice markdown phase. All right, buy signal right here on a break of resistance. Okay, that's not a big concern. We're almost near that area there. Um, not a lot of solid consolidation. So this isn't bad. All right, that one here is TXG, TXG. All right, nothing here. That's gone. All right, nice one. Nice one. You guys should put this on, um, put this. Those of you who trade in Bullmaster, um, let's see here, Bullmaster. Um, definitely a good one here. All right. Um, this one here is N-E-N-E-O-G, right? Nice markdown phase. It fell from $45, right? Nice accumulation. This is where it failed before. This time, this might be the one, right? This might be the one, right? Breaking resistance, buy signals here, 1777, but really nice markdown phase, guys. Look at that, really smooth, no consolidation. So if it, if it moves higher, we could get nice smooth, smooth price action um, to move higher, all right? So that's K N, what is N E O G, N E O G. All right. Let's keep going. That's gone. 
All right. Nice one. Um, boy, it's too late. Oh, it's too late. Buy signal came in at 888. It's at 12. Um, if it pulls back, right? Nice markdown phase. Nice trade. Nice, nice consolidation. All right. Um, yeah, but it's too late for this one. It fell from around $30, $40, and buy signal came in at eight, $8 and change, um, but too late on this one. Can't chase it. All right. Uh, decent one here, NSTG. All right, price fell from $40. Um, buy signal came in at $9.20. Three, it's at 1004, still good. All right. Purpose support and resistance here. So that's a bit of a concern. That's pressure. All right. Um, so we might want to wait for prices to develop a bit, but not nice decent markdown phase. All right. Um, all right, good one here. That this one here is A L G N A L G N. Nice markdown phase, a bit of consolidation. That's not a big concern. Buy signal came in right on that break of resistance right here. Nice price action getting into that markup phase. Um, it's not too late, but it is expensive. It is expensive. 235 is where it closed that. All right. So, but you could do options, you know, Zaya, that might be one for you, Bill. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, that's gone. That's gone. And uh, that is services. So we're going to take a look at technology and then we'll be done. All right, we only have a few here for technology in Bull Master. Um, this one here, nice trade here, set up. Nice setup. All right, it fell from 188, one, 180, 180. Nice markdown phase, right? Nice markdown phase. Um, nice break. Look at this. Really good setup here. No, when I say it's a good setup, there's not a guarantee. That, that means it's a good setup to trade. And that's what that's our job. We want, we want, we want nice markdown phases, nice accumulation, buy signal. All right, we need the markets to become bullish, we need the sectors to be moving. That's our job. That's our, that's our job, right? We do that, right? There's a better chance that our, our trades will work out. And we're not buying at the top. We're not buying up in this area here. We're waiting for the, all the selling to be done. All right, accumulation, nice support, nice, Resistance here, we got a buy signal. You guys can see it, buy signal right here. Nice early buy signal, all right? We never want to chase anything because guess what? We will have more opportunities. So if it's, if, it's, if it's gone, right? If it's gone up to that markup phase, leave it alone, we'll have other opportunities just like this one. So it fell from 180 to $55 right here. We don't have any accumulation to prevent our pro the, the stock from going higher until about 1, 1, 110, 120, okay? All right. And that is um, OMCL, OMCL, all right? All right, just a few more and we'll be done. All right, that's gone. Too late. That's good. That's gone. Not good. All right. Another nice one here. Eleven dollars fell from about twenty-two. Um, a bit choppy in here, but that's not a major concern because we've still got you know a, a ways to go. Eleven dollars. Um, and that one is so. There's so many, lots of opportunities, guys. K T O S K E. -T KTOS technology. This is technology now. All right. DCT. All right. Not bad. Nice markdown phase. 
You see here, most of these will have really good markdown phase. All right, nice support down in here. All right, breaking resistance here. As a matter of fact, no, it's over. It gapped up. It gapped up. So the buy came in at buy came in at 1266. It already gapped up to 19. We can't touch this. All right. I didn't see that dead gapped up. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That's gone. So that's the last one. All right. That's the last one. All right. Any questions on this? I wanted to go through some of these stocks, right? In the last five days, we've seen things change in the market, right? In the equity markets. All right. Those of you who trade in stock boss, bull master, you guys want to, you know, you want to, you can trade all of them. All right. You can trade all of them. Find the best ones, right? There's more than enough. All right. All right. Any questions here? Any questions? Any questions? All right. So I'm going to end with this. All right. I'm going to be checking on you guys a month from now, let's say. Markets are moving. You guys should be in some of these trades. Okay. All right. So um, keep an eye on... Um, Keep an eye on the VIX. We're going to be watching the VIX a lot closer now. All right? We need that VIX to come down. Okay? So it's at 1883. We need that VIX to come down and then settle in the low teens. All right? So 13, 14, if it can get lower, even better better and then so just settle and hold we need it to settle and hold now it's it's holding us support right here right it's holding us support right here so we need we need the vix to break through that support and go lower and we we'll see these markets move higher and again right here right here right here right here and then here we are right here so if we can get the VIX to come down lower and settle, right? Um, that's that's very, very, um, very good. We could see these, these markets and these stocks really move, um, okay? And they're starting to move. You guys saw that. Some of them are starting to move, all right? Um, also, um, keep an eye. We we'll watch, like I said, watch. Um, the Nasdaq. Watch the Nasdaq. Keep an eye on the Nasdaq. Um, watch the S and P, um, and then the Dow. Where's the Dow? Where's the Dow? Where did we put the Dow? All right, we have it somewhere. But watch the Dow. All right. If we get with about three thousand points, right? Three thousand points, which is not a lot from the all-time high, from the all-time high. So if we get, if we get near that all-time highs. Right, we could see, um, we can see they could really push these markets. All right, all right, guys, it's been a long week. All right, lots of information. Um, 4X, we'll go over 4X. We're starting to see things are picking up a bit. All right, um, there's some good short opportunities in Monster Scalper and the dollar pairs short. All right, um, so. Um, look for opportunities there. Um, there are some short opportunities in the yen pairs, but be careful. Be careful. All right. But the dollar pairs, um, you guys might want those of you who are savvy, right? You can, um, there are some opportunities on the 60 minute, on the 60 minute time frame. All right. So, all right. All right, guys. I will see you on, um, see you guys on Sunday. All right. See you on Sunday. Have a good weekend, everyone. Have a good weekend. Look through those symbols. Look for opportunities. All right. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mr. David. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.